Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print right Pascal triangle star pattern. So what exactly is this right Pascal triangle star pattern? Let me show you. So this is how a right Pascal triangle star pattern will look like. We need to write a Java program to print this kind of pattern. For doing so, we need to find few requirements. By looking at this pattern, we need to derive some requirements. That is, we need to break this pattern into two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. So let's divide. Before printing the whole pattern, we need to first write the logic for printing this pattern followed by this pattern. Okay, later we'll club these two patterns so that it will become right Pascal triangle star pattern. Fine, In the first part, let's find out how many rows are available. One, two, three, four, five. Total how many rows in the first part? Rows are is equal to five. Now, next thing we need to find out is about stars, guys. In the first row, how many stars are there? One star. Second row, two stars. Third row, three stars. Fourth row, four stars. Fifth row, five stars. Total stars are is equal to first row, one. Second row, two. Third row, three. Fourth row, four. Fifth row, five. Like this. Now we need to write the logic. Based on these requirements, we need to write the logic Java code for printing this kind of pattern first, first half of the pattern. So let's go here and uh, we now know how many rows. Rows is equal to five. So we'll write like this for int i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus. This for loop will iterate how many times? Five times, starting one, starting from one till five. This for loop will iterate five times. One, two, three, four, five, right? Because there are five rows here, this for loop has to iterate five times. That's fine. Now inside this for loop, we need to write some inner for loop for printing this stars case. For printing this stars, we need to write an inner for loop for int j is equal to one, j less than or equal to i, j plus plus. Like this, we have to write j is equal to one, j less than or equal to i. That means in the first row, in the first row, only one star will be printed because j less than or equal to i. The first iteration, i will be i will be one, guys. So how many stars will be printed? Only one star. In the second iteration, i will become two. So in the second row, how many stars will be printed? Because i is two, two stars will be printed because j is less than or equal to i you are saying here. Let me show you the logic, okay? Let me demonstrate it a bit more. Here, I'll be writing inside this inner for loop, I'll be writing this print ln statement, uh, remove this ln guys, we should not be, we should not be printing ln here. We should be using normal print statement because all the stars should be printed in the single line, not multiple lines. So we have to use normal print statement for printing the stars. Fine, so here initially i is equal to one guys, right? i is one, one less than or equal to five, true, right? One less than or equal to five is true. Now we'll go inside the for loop and here another for loop will come in our for loop. Here j is equal to one. j is one. One less than or equal to i. One less than or equal to, what is i guys? i is one. True or false? True. So one star will be printed. Next j will become two. This will become false. Only one star got printed in the first iteration or first row. Second, when i becomes two, here i plus plus i becomes two. Two less than or equal to five, true. So we'll go inside. And here, J will start from one, I is two. So one less than or equal to two, one star will be printed. Again, J will become two. So two less than or equal to two, second star will be printed. So based on the number of the row, the number of stars will be printed. Like that, we have written this logic. Fine, let's remove this, fine. And one more thing, one small thing you have to change here, guys. That is, uh, if you clearly observe, between the stars, there is some space, guys. You see, space is there between the stars. For this to happen, what we'll do is instead of printing a normal star here, we'll append space to the star and print like this star space, star space kind of thing. Fine. And one more thing also we have to consider guys. Okay. Before winding up this uh, first half portion of this pattern, printing the first half portion of the pattern before winding up the code, what we have to do is after every for loop, inner for loop, we have to write a print ln statement. This statement should be executed after this inner for loop. Because after this stars got printed, the first row one star got printed. 
after printing one star the cursor should go to the new line right we have to print the next row actually for that we have to move to the next line for this purpose we have to write print ln statement then second iteration i will become two and two stars will be printed and again after printing two stars we have to go to the new line like that every iteration we have to go to the new line for that purpose we have to write print ln statement here now let's run this code guys uh, this code will run this code will be printing the first half the first half portion of the pattern this pattern it will print instead of the complete pattern only this part it will be printing guys let's see whether we are getting this pattern printed or not run you see the first pattern first half pattern got successfully printed 1 2 3 4 5 now let's go to the second part here this is done guys this is this part is done now let's move to this second part how to write the java code for printing this pattern so for that guys uh, we have to find out how many rows here also rows is equal to four guys okay if you count the rows here also the rows will come as one two three four only four rows are there and uh, starting from four three two one so we'll create the for loop in the same fashion for int i is equal to four you see here one two three four one two three four five here one two three four five so here we mentioned in the for loop one till five but here reverse is happening four three two one so we have to start with four i greater than or equal to one okay i minus minus like this we have to go starting from four till one starting from four three two one four iterations this for loop will go through the four iterations now inside the for loop we need to print out the stars how to print the stars for that again another for loop we have to write for int j is equal to j is equal to i or j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to i this is also fine j plus plus like this so in the first row four stars are there so i is also four so four stars will be when i is four four stars will be printed when i is three three stars will be printed by this inner for loop like that we have designed this j less than or equal to i means starting from one till i if i is four starting from one to four how many iterations four iterations the four iteration how many stars will be printed here we should not be writing print ln guys we should be using print only and uh, we have to mention the star and also you know we have to provide a space between every star there is a space so we have to provide star space so this uh, in the when i is equal to four this four stars will be printed then i will become three when i is three three stars will be printed when i will come two two stars will be printed and i becomes one one star will be printed but after printing this four stars or three stars or two stars or one star we have to move to the new line right for that purpose we have to use print ln statement again after printing the required number of stars in the row four stars in the row we have to move to the new line then three stars then move, move to the new line two stars then move to the new line one star like this we have to write the code now it looks like we are done writing the java code for printing this right pascal triangle star pattern the complete pattern okay so everything from this is a pattern this output pattern we should get guys after running this code in the output we should get this pattern this is right pascal triangle star pattern let's see whether we are getting such kind of output or not run this you see we got the perfect output right pascal triangle star pattern got printed in the output so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to print right pascal triangle star pattern so that's it guys thank you bye